Hey guys, Sven here with a new Northcast market update titling this heat, the signals for August 8th. I wanted to kind of give you a bit of a quick look into uh, a tactical way of navigating markets because nothing's in a straight line and we always talk about the big picture and everything bullish, everything bearish. I wanted to highlight today's market action just to give a sense of how to use technicals. Uh, to help navigate through the ups and downs. Uh, today we had ABC initially a big down move and then we had a bounce into close. And a few hours ago, uh, I this was in the middle of this all, I put out this tweet, isn't it about time to crush the VIX? And there was a particular reason why I put this out and I'll show you in a minute. Um, but I want to highlight a little bit from our private live alert feeds, how we're kind of, we're assessing all this here in terms of a larger view of markets, maybe entering a corrective phase, but also heating the signals in the meantime. Here's a particular tweet I put out. I said, I don't think this correction is over by any means. Still just a minor pullback. We're only talking 3% here on the S&P. It's no big deal at all. But also respectful of signals and specifically one I'm talking about here is BPNDX. You know, as NASDAQ's been screaming higher all year, it got to a very overbought rating on the RSI. It was a sell signal for us, especially as it hit that high. And then, you know, we got the rollover, but it also got oversold very quickly on the RSI. And as the 50 MA was approaching, which I'm talking about here, in a potential bull flag with four open VIX gaps below, uh, that was suggestive of a bounce coming, okay? Uh, and specifically, here's the chart, if you look closer, close to 27. I mean, this was a rapid uh, drop off, but without very little damage on the indices, on the, on the actual index so far. But it's, you know, you can get more oversold ratings for sure, uh, but you can also get these double bounces and so forth. But that's a sign of caution for shorts in, in principle, especially if you approach certain levels. And, you know, let's not forget Apple. You know, I've been talking about this in the tech warnings with the negative divergences. Apple just got clobbered. It was just in overbought and, and a high RSI for, for weeks on end. Then it built this negative divergence. Then it broke this channel and this the bottom fell out. That's a sizable move, about 12% down in a matter of days. And most and through the 50 MA, just sliced through it. But notable here, Apple is far below the daily Bollinger Band. And as we've seen, even last year, uh, it or many times before, it does not like to stay below the outside the lower Bollinger Band. That's why yesterday on public Twitter, I talked about maybe the coming bounce coming and kind of today we had a little double bottom there. Obviously, there's a lot of technical damage with the chart, but it's it's one of those things that suggests maybe there's some bounce action coming. Hence, I'm talking about technicals and hence my VIX tweet about the VIX uh, about being crushed. That was driven by the fact that the VIX now has four open gaps this morning. And that I actually cannot recall seeing other than last week. And guess what? They crushed it then too uh, for initially uh, a down move that then obviously turned into a higher high since then. But when I put out that tweet, it was hard for me to see from a chart perspective to say how that's sustainable. Uh, all VIX gaps fill eventually. That's kind of my premise. There's still one open at 45, but that's been long forgotten for the, for the moment. But, you know, to see that many consecutive open gaps makes no sense to me to really press hard on the short side. Uh, you can still have strategic shorts on, obviously, but from a tactical point of view, uh, that made sense that they were going to try to fill that gap. And they did a good job today of almost filling it completely. Um, but that's part of why we bounced. And the other one, and this is also key with NDX in particular, I talked about the 50MA, but there was something else going on. And that is, you know, NDX started building a bunch of open gaps as well to the upside that are all unfilled. And then today, uh, we were looking at maybe this gap filling and the 50MA getting tacked. And the view was maybe to close the final short on NDX and try for a bounce play uh, to maybe target some of these higher gap fills. Well, guess what? 
we fill that gap to a T. And by the way, that's what we did. We, we closed the final scale on NDX. We even closed final scale on Dow. Um, but then we tried along on NDX for the reasons I just outlined with view of VIX gap fill and the NDX gap actually filling to the downside. And it did. I mean, it just filled it perfectly, got into that zone, and then boom, that's where we got the bounce. Now, I'm not saying this correction is over, but I'm also saying from a tactical point of view, you know, you, you get to, to areas where a bounce just simply makes sense from a charting perspective and from a signal perspective, right? And that's what happened here with NDX today. It got outside the daily Bollinger Band, and it got you got this channel here, right, which could be a bull flag, but I've completely unproven at this point. But, you know, it it got to very near this 50 MA. And then, of course, what it did is bounce and then reconnects with it after the fact, which is kind of sneaky. But we haven't really seen NDX. So like Apple doesn't like outside being outside the daily Bollinger Band on on the downside very long. I mean, you can have protracted periods, but it always bounces, always bounces. Now, it hasn't closed above the, the daily five EMA, so nothing's proven here at all. Uh, and for bulls to really show their case, they have to get back above these MAs and sustain a move higher. But I'm just saying from a tactical point of view, the bounce made total sense today. And just to close this off, also on the tactical chart, you know, we've seen these points of um, support resistance uh, change. We have a corrective move here in the sense that we have a lower highs and lower lows, but we also have a potential bullish falling wedge. And what bulls need to show is break above it and then start targeting these uh, open gaps. We have a key CPI report on Thursday, and that can change everything. Uh, this could invalidate these bullish patterns here the short-term bullish patterns and everything can roll over again or it can really crank through it again um yeah it's kind of silly to say okay well we had a three percent pullback and that was the end of the correction you never know you absolutely never know uh because we're still very much overbought on a lot of key charts uh we're not massively oversold on many other charts uh, but certainly on bpndx today we got a quick snap to oversold from a uh, signal perspective, and hence the bounce made sense. Uh, CPI on Thursday, I think, will be key to see what happens here with uh, VIX and these charts as well. Anyway, I thought hopefully you find this helpful, kind of how we're looking at markets uh, on a daily basis and trying to heat signals tactically inside of strategic framework and just navigate the ranges as best as possible. If you want to join us, you're welcome to do so via Northman Trader on the market services. And in the meantime, we'll wish you a good week and good luck with CPI on Thursday. Take care.